Welcome back to Dawn. So we are trying to help you make a love match and now some online dating tips. Here with Susan Trombetti, CEO of Exclusive Matchmaking. So I love that you have this business and in the commercial break, Susan, I was asking about somebody like Martha Stewart. Mm -hmm. um, and, but you, you even think that maybe she wasn't even trying to make a love match. Maybe it was just PR or marketing or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you never heard any more about yeah. it. I mean, you just heard this story and it was really out there. It was. And then it just disappeared. I'd like to see who she was matched up with. I, know, I mean, I'd like to see her out on I a had friends like, a my date. uncle would love her, you know, <laughs> and you never heard anything. Exactly. Yeah. Do you ever have somebody who you just don't like? Do you think Absolutely. this person's mm -hmm. a big goober jerk? Mm -hmm. How, who am I going to fix them up with? I don't, and okay. I'm not. If they're not dateable, if I don't like you, if I can't sell you, I shouldn't have to sell you. You should be that great. But sometimes you do need to tweak things. Um, maybe if they're really shy or they're just on their cell phone or something, you know, you could tweak that. But if they're a jerk, I'm the wrong lady for you because I can't help you. That's probably why you're single. I can help you learn how to turn it off and you stop that behavior, but if you're not willing to stop it or recognize it, you know, nothing yeah. I can do. Let's go through some of these tips that you have, because we, we have a whole list of tips. So the first one is uh, that your profile, so your profile is everything, mm -hmm. right? Right. So I have a stiletto boot camp, and I have online dating packages, but um, bottom line is I love it because it is, it's a makeover. You get a chance to be treated like a, a queen, and the thing of it is, it, whether it's a guy or a girl, your profile photo is just 95% of it. And not because you're wearing a bikini, you don't wanna wear a bikini you know, in your profile photo because you're gonna attract the wrong person, but 95% of it, that's what it is, it's in your photo. So you have to have a fabulous photo. You have to have professional hair, makeup, the right clothes. I mean, you wanna grab their attention. You wanna be the best that you can be. And when they write something up about themselves, and you said you spend a lot of time on this, but it has to be, you feel like it should be energetic. Their profile should be, what do you mean by that? Your profile should be energetic. Um, you should be upbeat and positive and talk about the things that you like doing, not negative. You don't want to be like, oh, well, I mean, I, I've heard stories like there's a guy with a remote on like match.com and here he is. You know, <laughs> you don't want to appear like a couch potato. That shouldn't be your profile photo. And you shouldn't be saying, look, I don't want someone with cats, no kids. Don't put your negatives out there. You okay. know, put your positives out there and put your best foot forward. And then you tell them pick two or three sites? Mm -hmm. Pick two or three sites. Um, I love eHarmony. So um, I feel like there are a lot of upscale people on eHarmony as opposed to Match.com. I don't know why that is, but um, so, but I do feel that Match is very good. There'll be a lot of people that will come back and tell me that, oh, but I found my, you know, my person on Match. So Match um, is equally, I mean, there's, that's where the people are. So Match, eHarmony, and then pick another if you'd like. Um, I don't know, J-Date, Christian Mingle, whatever it is that speaks to you. Um, but you should be on more than one. Okay, so casting that wide net. Yeah, well, by the wide, casting the wide net, what I mean by that is when you go on that site, a lot of people are more inclined to say, okay, uh, this height, over six foot. No, don't limit height. I think it's something like 87%. Well, this will say it all. Um, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Matt Damon, they're all under six foot. So, you know, there's plenty of great guys that aren't six foot tall. So don't limit, no height restrictions. Don't limit it to you love dogs and cats. I once had a lady wouldn't even look at a guy if he didn't put down that he liked cats. <laughs> and <laughs> that's not the crazy single. cat lady. Right. So, so don't rule anybody out. <laughs> right, maybe that was it. So don't rule, and make sure that you set your parameters so that you're ruling everybody in and that you can weed out from there. Um, I don't know what else to say. Aside, I mean, if you were in front of me with your profile and we were filling it out, we would just rule everybody in. That's what we would do. So you were talking about the honesty factor, but then don't give your real name or your full name? Safety. Uh, Remember, I have the investigations background. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I think on eHarmony, you, you kind of have to. So I say, you know, kind of make it your... Um, 
there are some people, by the way, just to kind of backtrack, that their real name, they, that's the only person with that name and people can find exactly where they live and you don't want a bad date knowing where you live and being able to come right to your house. But how is that, I mean, when you meet the person, then you're like, well, I'm not really Trixie. It's okay, I mean, it's okay. So okay. in matchmaking, I'll give you an example. So I have high-end guys and, um, and women too, okay? But for example, this weekend I had a guy and he wants a woman to want him for who he is. And it was his first date make up a fake email, not your regular email, and she only knows him by his first name. And you know what? If you don't like that, then you don't have to go out with this very upscale, wonderful, giving, loving guy until you prove yourself. So you're asking them basically to trust you, mm -hmm. to say this is because you don't know their real identity. It's almost like the dating game where you're choosing them by their profile, not by their name. Um, almost, it's because it's well, like, Okay, maybe kind of have it wrong. So I, sometimes you have to offer anonymity to someone. Okay. And the anonymity isn't so much, it's not like you're recognizable. You don't have a recognizable face, but maybe you do something for a living and when everybody finds out or, it, you know, it's like if a guy, if someone knows that you have a lot of money, you know, you'll have a guy okay. attracted to that. So you're kind of hiding that and you're only putting yourself out there in terms of like, here I am, here's my personality, here's what I have to offer you, and I'm this giving person, and then re revealing a little bit at a time. So when it comes down to online dating and not really putting your name out there, you're, you're limiting people finding you, the wrong people that you don't want, until you know that you can trust that person. So when they go, because it's almost like a little hypocritical, so everything's really honest, but when they go on that date with the person, they're going with the false name? Like they're having lunch? Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Okay. I'm sorry, no, they're going with the right name. And generally speaking, if you have a rapport with somebody that you're communicating with, you're gonna say, that's not really my name. For security, okay, okay I get So it. let me just tell you. So when I met my husband, okay, um, I told him, you know, my nickname, which, uh, you know, is Susan, I go by Susan, but on my first date, I said, my legal name is this. So, you know, everybody's, you can find people. So there's no dishonesty in it. Okay. I mean, if you're on match.com and you pick like a, a screen name, I mean, whatever, if you like to gaze at the stars, you know, star lover, whatever. But on eHarmony, you do have to put your name Got out yet. there. And okay. I don't really feel that everybody's name should be out there. Um, in public display like right. that when you're dating because you don't know who you're dating until mm -hmm. you really get to know them. Well, speaking of getting to know people, I know that Susan, you help a lot of people get a makeover mm -hmm. before they make that match. So we're gonna see some of Susan's makeovers and improving your profile picture when we come right back.